Hello and welcome to this analysis of line charts. Writing line charts in IELTS Academic Task 1 is super easy. All you have to do is analyze the trends. So we'll be basically studying this chart, uh, the line chart, and try to find out what are the trends that should be used. And you can apply these principles in other line charts as well. So the first thing you have to do is you know, mark the beginning and the last points. The reason is that your question will normally demand make comparisons and without making comparisons your answer is incomplete. So let us make some comparisons. Comparisons means that you have to, in this question on goods transported, you have to identify um, how the different modes of transport, road, water, rail and pipeline compare with each other and you have to identify which is the highest and which is the lowest as well as you know if there's something some similar similarity that shows comparison we'll we'll talk about it so clearly number one which is the road transport it is um, the highest in all the years it carries most goods the highest um, number of goods in million tons the highest weightage of goods so first trend is okay this is the highest throughout the duration throughout the given time period and uh, pipeline carries the least good number of goods uh, the least amount of goods in million tons throughout the given duration there is a trend between a comparison between number two and number three which is water and rails so at the beginning of the period, water is higher than the rails. I'm sorry, rails are higher than uh, the water transport, and there, it is slightly higher. This is a comparison as well as a main feature. Okay, it is slightly higher. Thereafter, uh, water transport, its its share in total transportation of goods, its share in total transportation of goods increases appreciably whereas that of rail it drops so while at the beginning of the period rail transport is the second highest water transport uh, is the third highest it soon relegates and uh, water trans rail transport drops to third position over here so try to mention this in appropriate words once you are done with this this is right comparison of all the four modes of transport you have to discuss them individually this is main features this is the trend this is the individual trend individual trends of each category so here we, we we have to identify each one individually the comparison part is over let us talk about road transport first well, in general, you can see that from this spot to this spot, it, in general, it increases despite some fluctuations or despite some drop. And thereafter, it drops for some uh, duration and then in general, it increases. So you have to frame a sentence while keeping this drop in mind and this fall as well. And then this this uh, whole stretch for road transport will be complete. Uh, you can also choose to mention this sudden increase or dramatic increase, dramatic increase in goods transported through road network. Thereafter, you have a gradual increase. So this is gradual. This is gradual increase, gradual increase. This is a gradual fall, gradual fall. Then there is a sudden increase and then a gradual increase. So try to include these elements. And as long as you have not covered them, do not switch to the next part. The second is, let me take water transport. So it uh, it is stable at the beginning. Thereafter, it, it suddenly increases, followed by a plateauing. And a general uh, decrease from after 1990 to 98. So you can mention a few periods as well. And then there is a, a sudden increase. Let's not call it gradual. Gradual would be something like this. This one is gradual, okay? 
Now let us call this sudden increase or dramatic increase. A rail transport, it, it in general it falls till this duration. Thereafter, there's some fluctuation uh, despite increase. It in general, it falls down till this duration, till about 95, I guess. And then it gradually increases to reach some point in 2002. Um, finally, it's the pipeline and the trend is clearly mentioned. This is plateauing or this is a very, very marginal increase. Do not repeat the word gradual every time. You can call marginal increase as well. And then there's a plateauing over here. This is a plateau. So there's a constant value after about, I guess, 1995, there's a constant value. Um, these tr individual trends are extremely important to frame your response correctly. So I hope you like this answer. Write an answer, share with me, and I'll, I'll, I'll love to go through it. Thank you for watching.